Hey guys, one year with the Fuji X-T20, uh, we're approaching our anniversary with the camera and I wanted to share my experience, my one year experience with the camera because I'm sure I still get a lot of emails and comments about people that are picking it up now, that are interested in the camera. camera. Uh, and tons of you thank me for helping you, so you're welcome and also thank you for leaving great comments and for all the nice people in the comments, you guys are awesome. Uh, so I made a little list here. The top five things I love and hate about the Fuji X-T20. And hate is such a strong word. Uh, you know, it, it's more like pet peeves, things that kind of are like meh, and without sounding like a spoiled brat because the camera really is a really, really great camera. And it, you know, it's really hard to buy a bad camera today. The Sonys are great, Canon, Nikon, Olympus, Panasonic, they're all doing great things. You pretty much can't go wrong um, you just have to pick what's best for you. Share below your loves and hates or if you agree, disagree, so let's go. The first thing is I definitely want to get the, the general loves and hates that uh, are known about the camera and stick to more stuff that's more personal with using it. So let's go through the first general loves and hates that other reviewers have mentioned, I've mentioned. Uh, and maybe this is your first time seeing a review of this camera. So these are like the general loves and hates. General loves of the Fuji system in general is image quality. The camera has an amazing sensor and takes fantastic JPEG images like straight out of the camera. You don't have to edit the images like crazy. You can pretty much shoot JPEG, believe it or not, which is scary. Uh, if those of you that are getting into photography and been told shoot raw, shoot raw, shoot raw, you know, the JPEGs are pretty dang good. So that's number one, great sensor, great image quality. Number two great thing is the camera has built-in film simulations, which are beautiful. Uh, they're proprietary to Fuji, and they kind of are a tribute to real films that were around. Uh, so things like Provia and uh, Classic Chrome and Acros, people love the film simulations. And what's great is you can sort of tweak them uh, so give them a little bit more contrast, a little bit more punch, a little bit more saturation. So you can actually take the film simulations and make them your own too. So that's a huge bonus, again, shooting JPEG. Third, the third thing that people love about the camera in general is the buttons. The intuitive nature of if I want to close down my aperture, let me just turn this ring on the lens. If I want to speed up or slow down, instead of using typical buttons and dials of most cameras. So people love the buttons. Okay, the negatives about the camera in general. Um, hold on, let me take this off just so we can see the camera from the out of the box. I have a grip on there. Uh, they don't make this grip anymore. This is from Amazon. I did a video on this. Uh, they have other ones though you can find, but I highly recommend a grip. Okay, took the grip off. So now it looks like what it is out of the box. All right, the negatives, the general negatives of, of the camera that people mention. Um, number one, the placement of this mount. If you put a plate under here, it blocks the door. That's number one. Number two, people don't love the place where you put the memory card in there. Uh, so they kind of don't like that. And it is hard to take out. It's not a deal breaker for me. Like I've gotten used to it. I kind of just shoot the card out like Wadoo! So uh, that's kind of annoying for people. Uh, battery life is another, you get like two to three hours if you're on vacation per battery, if you're shooting. If you leave the screen on along, it'll, a lot, it'll drain quickly. So you just have to have extra batteries. That's not a huge negative. Uh, what else? Oh, and the other one people mention is the, if you're gonna, you know, use a microphone. It, it does have a microphone jack, but it's the, it's not a 3.5, like the general, size that you find at the end of microphones. You have to buy this stinky little adapter which you have to carry around and sometimes I forget that. Not a huge negative but that's in there so that when you have a microphone you have this little thing sticking out. So no big deal. Okay so those are the general loves and hates of the camera and I'll give you kind of my own little personal list based on my using it for a year. Number one. Okay. It's size adaptability. Let me explain. It's small, it's a small camera, but what's great is if you buy the grip, it pretty much feels like a Fuji X-T2. I've held both of them together in the store. I've held the Fuji X-T2 and I've held my camera with the grip on there. And what's great is you can actually make your camera smaller. 
So I like the fact that sometimes I don't want to bulk up. I don't want to bring both of these. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just leave this and have like a smaller, tinier camera. But if I want a better grip, I can just put the grip on there like a transformer and I just all of a sudden have a little bit larger, better grip on the camera. So that's number one that I can, I can change its size with the grip. Number two, unexpectedly, the most positive thing uh, these aren't in order, by the way. I'm just rambling off. I just wrote them down. But the most awesome thing about the camera has been it's the best video camera I've had. Now, let me explain. It's amazing how great it has been to just take videos of the family, to grab it and do my own updates. I keep a video diary in the family when we, you know, just updates that it's snowing, you know, what's going on the day, what the date is, if the kids are doing anything fun. So the fact that I can grab the camera and quickly put it on video and switch this switch to auto, the camera is ready to take video. It detects faces, it auto focuses. I don't have to fumble through all the settings or pick my shutter speed for video. The auto little feature here, so that goes, that goes hand in hand with best video camera. The fact that the auto, auto automatically makes it a video camera and it's set, I can just film, I can grab and talk into it. So that has been awesome. It's the best video camera that I've had for family updates, vacations, love it. It also shoots 4K, which is a super bonus. I don't really use 4K that much. If you know we're going to Utah soon, we're going to Las Vegas, we're going to Costa Rica. For there, I will film 4K because we have a 4K TV. And when we watch our vacation videos streaming, they look amazing. Okay, let's move on, move on. Third, the third thing I realize I'm using a lot, which I love, is I keep this in manual focus and I set focus peaking. Focus peaking is on the screen, you can actually see where the camera is focusing. And I use a super high red version and it has been great. Like at first it was annoying, like I didn't like the red thing at all. And now I use it to pinpoint my focus. Um, and focus peaking has become part of my shooting. It's actually something I picked up and it's been a great bonus where on the Canon now I'm like, where's the focus peaking? My fourth uh, positive of the camera has been how you can make the camera your own. You can actually like customize all the buttons to be your own. I made this one my back button focus. This one has been my image review. I made the push one here be my ISO because I've gotten used to boom. So. I love that about the camera is that you can customize the buttons to be your own. I'm sure if someone else had a Fuji X-C20 and I grabbed it, I'd be like, what? It'd be like tough to use because each person maybe customizes their buttons different. Love that. And the fourth, again, not in order, but dang, I love this. You know how I feel about the flippy flippy. I, miss, I, I wish it was on my Canon 5D Mark IV. Like um, just great to shoot looking down. I love to shoot low, so this is great. And on the same subject, I'm going to put touch screen slash flippy screen. I find I, at first I wasn't using the touch focus and now I find that it's, it's great to get me in the general area. So I actually use the back of the screen and I'll touch, um, you know, because even though I'm in manual focus, I can touch, it turns to autofocus and it goes to where I want the background and then I can use my focus peaking. So like I use the touch to kind of get me into the general area. Um, so touch, boom, put the camera to my eye, use focus peaking, it's great. So I didn't think I would be using the touch screen so much, but I love it. I'm not using the like little choose my focus point, which they added in the last firmware. I'm not really using that at all. Touch to focus, oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> my hates. Now these aren't really hates because it's kind of like spoiled bratness, you know? So uh, here are my, pet peeves, uh, hate is a strong word, things that are kind of been annoying, whatever. Okay, number one. Again, not in any order, but I hate, oh, I quite dislike the delay of the EVF. And it's gotten, you know, we were in New Orleans and I was kind of like, you know, street shooting where I would see someone and I love putting the camera to my eye. Uh, and there's kind of like a little chunky delay. Like I wish it was, it definitely was quicker. Um, it, it's, I'll show you, I'll try to show you on the screen now, but it's like, 
you know, so you put your and I could see the benefit of the uh, X Pro 2 or the X100 series where you could just turn all that off and have an optical viewfinder and you can kind of do away with the uh, My second pet peeve hate is if I'm shooting in 4K for vacation, like I'm, you know, Grand Canyon beautiful and I want to turn the camera around, the camera doesn't have face detection in 4K. So if you're doing vacation pictures and whatever, you know, you have to hope that the center focus point is focusing on your face. And sometimes it just doesn't. So that's kind of a pet peeve. I have to switch the camera. If I'm going to do any kind of update during vacation, I have to switch it to 1080p uh, because there is face detection in 1080p. So that's kind of a hate. Third, okay, the, this is kind of a pet peeve, not really a hate, but um, switching lenses on, you know, I'm, I'm so used to the button on the Canon here. You, if you're holding your camera, I can push and then twist off like this. This is my 40D. I don't really use this camera anymore. I've tried to sell it a bunch of times and people want it for like 40 bucks. I put it up for like a hundred bucks, uh, 95 bucks, 90. It's a good camera, man. I can't let it go for, you know, 40 bucks. You crazy. Anyway, uh, back to the hate, uh, right here the, uh, on a Canon boom. Hold the little button and then twist like you're twisting off. This is another reason why I can't get Nikon. Like I've used the Nikon uh, before and you push and you actually have to turn this way to get the lens off. I don't know, you Nikon people. But anyway, I touch and then twist off, I love, put the next lens on, put it on and click. So that's like habit, habit. Pet peeve of the Fuji is first of all, the button is on the other side. You know, where is it? I don't even know. It's on this side. So you kind of awkwardly have to hold the button like this and, and twist off. So that's not so terrible. Uh, but I wish that the button was on the other side. Um, what I do when it, it's on a strap is I actually put the camera upwards like this and then it's totally normal. Like I can do it really quick if it's like that. But if the camera's straight up, I got to reach around, which has not in a year been <laughs> comfortable whatsoever. Like I have no muscle memory whatsoever for that. So that's a general hate for me, maybe for you, it's like super easy. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, you know, maybe if you came from the Nikon system, if you use this hand and then turn the way that, you know, it kind of feels more Nikon-y that way. So maybe that's not a hate for you. But for me, I hate it. This front dial, I've been waiting for a firmware update where this can become ISO. This front dial really is kind of useless. What I use it for now, I've made it as, as useful as it could be. I've made it, my play button is at the top and then I use this front button to go through pictures, like to swipe through pictures is like click, 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 click. That's number one. And number two, it's my exposure by thirds. So I can actually use this for my exposure and this is for my thirds. But um, that's all I can do. You can't make this button anything you want. It actually, actually pushes in, but it doesn't, really do anything. There's no nothing on here. So maybe it's for the future for a firmware update, but it'd be great if the front button was more customizable. I think it is in other Fuji cameras like the X-T2, X-Pro2, uh, but ISO in the front would be nice because we don't have a designated ISO button. So that's a hate, kinda. Okay, and then the last personal hate one, I couldn't really put into one, um, it's just a bunch of little things. And the little things I called at first I called it the ghost because <laughs> it's kind of like the camera doing its own weird stuff uh, that you can't explain, but I ended up calling it the damn why. And those of you that maybe are new to the camera are getting a lot of damn whys. Uh, but for example, I'll give you one. There was a time where the pop-up flash wouldn't pop up at all. No matter if I turn the button, if I hit it, it just wouldn't pop up. I was like, damn, why? But never figured it out. Eventually one day it just started popping up again. Okay, in the beginning, there were tons of damn whys. One of the damn, the, the major, bah! So the damn why happens with a lot of little things. Uh, sometimes you don't have 325 points. Sometimes you only have the 95 and it's because you have this thing set or there's just so many features in the camera that sometimes you, you have to figure out damn why don't I have face detection or damn why isn't it shooting in 4K? Or damn why, if you're an auto, you don't have all the film simulations. You're like, how come I can't shoot in classic chrome? Damn why? That's gonna be some, the damn whys will dwindle away uh, as you get better with the camera. 
but I find that some of them will stay forever. Okay, overall, there you have it, guys. It's just been a great year with the camera. I love the camera. Uh, I've dropped it twice really hard, so it's been super tough. It's, it's taken tons of pictures, tons of video. Um, we're, like I said, we're going to Utah. I was contemplating, should I bring my 5D Mark IV with like the 16 to 35 lens? Uh, so it's been a great year. If you're interested in the camera and you have questions, leave them in the comments below, help you answer. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool.